<laughs> um, but what's funny is that you look again at your patterns in your life. It's like, how do you find other ways to let people shame me? How do I let people shame me? And it's funny, as a kid, it happened to me. And that's fine, you know? Because I've taken responsibility and I've, I've learned to see that that was just the beginning of my journey. And then wouldn't you know, I'd pick Hollywood, of all places. <laughs> There's this rule book of, yeah, you have to look a certain way and, you know, be a certain weight. I picked them, right? I thought, that's really funny. And it's so funny as Gabrielle, where I finally went, up oh, yours, guys. I'm, you know, I'm going to be who I want to be. But in that, I um, actually wasn't really authentic, to tell you the truth, because I went the other way. I rebelled. I, I, I wasn't who I am. I just went the other direction. And I wonder about you, you know? Do any of you have this? You know, does that help happen for you in your life, where people put things on you, and then how do you react? Because that's the key. How do you really authentically react to other people putting stuff on you? At the um, West Hollywood Film Festival, some of you were there. Um, it was such an interesting uh, challenge for me to not be in my ego about stuff and just to really be present with what was happening. And there, um, there were two sides of the coin. There were, uh, there's this wonderful group that had put together some shows, and um, they were about, you know, being proactive and empowering, empowering the lesbian community. And then there was the other side, literally the other side, and the other side was about how do you empower the homosexual gay uh, community of the men, and they were completely at odds during this festival, and I could not believe it. And I thought to myself, you know, you wonder why they can't come together, they, and make something that's so important to them about Prop 8 and pull this together and be together and be loving towards each other. Why do they have to fight right here, literally right in front of my face? Fight. And I thought, what the hell is that about? What is that? And it's so funny because we're so used to, to letting people judge us. You know, we're so used to letting people tell us what we can and can't do that we become so defensive and then we become angry or, we, you know, we, we attack them. But what if you don't, you know? What if you just step back and be who we are, which are these incredible beings, and just see how do you move through an obstacle? How do you move through this adversity? And I know it's a hell of a time right now for a lot of people, I know, because believe me, we're all, we're all in this together. You know, everybody's here because we're all in this together. And um, these are just little tiny bits <laughs> that I wanted to share with you. Thank you. I start to see a little bit more. Actually, Ben, do you mind lifting the light for me? Does anybody have any questions about that kind of stuff? You guys are so quiet. <laughs> yes. I just was wondering, uh, is there a particular um, person that you're listening to right now that, that is helping you to do Thank that? Thank you, actually, yes. The woman who, um, who I've been studying with, her name is Mary Rokumora. And she's this phenomenal woman that, you know, she's like the little, uh, she's like the little yoga, uh, the, the Yoda for me. The little Yoda. <laughs> she's just, she is just pure love, you know? And, um, and I'm so grateful to have met her. I went to her actually because Steve, my ex-husband Steve and I were going through a divorce. And everyone said to us, oh, you've got to get a lawyer, you've got to fight, and uh, I mean, everyone, right? Because that's how things are done. And we lucked into meeting Mary. And Steve and I went to her and said, look, you know, we don't really like each other right now, <laughs> you know? But we want to find that love again. And why? Because right now it's for our son. That's what we want to do. And she bridged us together. She did. And I thought, you know, there's something to this woman. There's so much more there. And about Steve, Honestly, I, I love him so much more than I ever did because I see who he is and he sees who I am. It's just unfortunate that it took a long way to get there, you know? But, um, but this Mary, Mary Rokamora, I highly recommend any of you uh, visit her website if you get an opportunity to talk to her. Please do, because she's so much more than that. Um, she's, she's nurtured my career in, in many ways because I said, you know, I don't really know who I am right now. I don't know, I'm, I was, I'm Gabrielle, I've always been an actor, I love acting, but I don't want to act right now, I don't know what this is. I want to produce, I want to direct, but I don't see how I can do it. I don't know how to do it. And so she really just took me step by step and guided me, and just when I reached the point where I couldn't do any more, then she kind of slipped something else there, you know? I was like, well, have you thought about this? Because it's always directing the questions back to you, because you know what you can do. 